Hey loves, what's up, what's up, what's up? This SG here, you guys want to be tapping in for the Divine Masculines. Let's see what's going on. As I was shuffling the deck from the previous message, I did see, um, hold on loves. Oh, Eight of Swords. Um, I did see uh, the King of Cups and I seen the Hangman. I uh, also picked up something about you guys feeling as though, oh Jesus. Today's August the 12th, 2022. It is 9 28 now. Okay. Um, I keep being inclined to state those, you know. And yeah. All right. Um, I did pick up this energy where you, Divine Mask, and you guys are feeling like really stuck and feeling isolated because the hangman literally jumped out of my deck out of my hand while i was shuffling it flew all the way over here so you guys are in your head it was literally by itself and then the other cards came out okay so i do feel as though you guys feel isolated uh you feel alone you know you feel like you have nobody to turn to nobody to trust <clears throat> okay A lot of you doing a lot of reflecting, okay? Trying to find yourself and what what have I done? Like the things I had to overlook. Oh, okay. The people that you help <clears throat> and those are the ones you felt as though that, hold on, loves, I apologize about my bracelet. And those are the ones you helped and you feel as though these individuals actually stabbed you in the back. Okay, you trusted these individuals and um, you just feel like things are not the way you want them to be. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. I would say, what message do you have for the divine masculines or any warnings for the divine masculines? I'm um, just getting, keep your head up. Everything is going to be fine. Get out of that nostalgic energy. You're, you know what's on your brain? <laughs> Marriage. I see the marriage card here. The four of wands. Let's see what we have here. The two of wands. So you've been guided to like, you know what? Get out of your head. You're getting a lot of, could be getting a lot of, a lot of downloads, love. See, I don't remember if these were in reverse or not. Oh my God. So that was the old one right here. It's marriage. I don't know if you guys are wanting to reach out to people and make things better. Um, people that you hurt. Just for apology-wise is what I'm picking up. Yeah, I think, I, I'm picking up you have a lot of things about marriage on your brain. Seriously. There's nothing wrong with that. Wanting to finally settle down because you've been through so much and you're tired of all this wishy-washy energy and things, you know. I hate y'all know me. I don't like it when it's like this. So I feel like you just want to take a leap of faith. And you're being guided to do so. You're going, moving in the right direction, okay? And I just feel like spirit is just giving you a way out. And you're wondering if you're just being emotional or is this the right um, path for you? Um, I do feel that there's a lot of um, stagnant energy, a lot of manipulation, because I see, huh, I see this emperor card it could be an Aries and a magician, literally right by one another. I see the nine of pentacles, so you could be you could be doing a lot of manipulation, um, trying to pull in certain things for you to um, play, put yourself back in a stable position, stable. Uh, home stable in regards to residual income coming in because i see the nine of pentacles so whatever it is that you're working in i feel like you're listening to spirit if you will look at this the little uh squirrel trying to talk to this person um spirit is giving you a way out they're showing you that whatever it is that you want they can provide for you but you have to get out of this energy that you're in okay I do feel that you're being mindful. You could be doing something to protect your energy too because uh, I see the magician, manipulation, and the queen of swords, um, the page of pentacles, and this um, ten of wands. 
it's like you're in the page of swords you're i just feel like you're protecting yourself i see the ten of swords here too and the page of swords you're sitting down like all these people and i see the six of pentacles here and particularly somebody you were in some type of commitment with somebody you help you constantly kept helping helping their family and everything you got you provided with this person or you share with this person you share with your family and they all literally stabbed you they stabbed you in the back like literally stabbed you in the back something about a sagittarius could be coming through or could have tried to help you and you didn't allow them to do so i see the sag like you turned your back on this sag you thought it was the sag but the sag had nothing to do with it I just feel like this person literally had to walk away from you or you were the one who walked away from this sash. Could have been thinking about doing uh, getting married <clears throat> or solidifying something or leveling up in a relationship or even going to counseling too. But you chose to walk away from this person and move on to someone else. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Aries, Lee, or Sag. Okay, so now you're feeling overburdened. Now you have to sit here and fight and get your way back because some type of major tarot moment that took place. And you had to fight all these people off and, and protect your energy and protect your sanity, you know. Whoever these individuals, I feel like somebody's trying to come back, move towards you, loves Divine Masculines. Oh, crap. Ooh. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah, you got some finances coming in. I feel like there's some be stability, but you gotta you gotta get out of this mentality of lack of, you know, of everything that you've been through. Shit happens, divine masculines. We all go through it, and you, yeah, you got marriage on the brain. You want a family, you want to settle down. There's nothing wrong with that. We all, a lot of people want that, but some people just getting tired of going through the motions with people, you know. <clears throat> divine mask, I'm just being honest with you, okay? <laughs> some people seriously just getting tired of going through the motions, you know. You can't, you cannot expect people to continue. Listen, 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 listen. Let's talk. Don't mind this, okay. Divine masculine, y'all gotta understand your um let's just say your uh <laughs> y'all know I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. Your twin is getting tired of going through the motions with you like this. Some of them. Some of them don't care, they just letting you do what you gotta do for you. Ain't nothing wrong with that. A lot of twins will forgive you. Some still holding grudges. Let's just keep it a buck, okay? Some still holding a grudge, but y'all have to understand, people get tired of going through the motions. People get tired of you not making a decision. Women, men, however you float, some, it's time to keep it moving, okay? Nobody got time to be playing around. Life is short, honey. Everybody getting older, not younger, wiser, most definitely. But you got to understand, nobody has time to keep playing around and juggle all that juggling. Um, people owning up and knowing their worth and their value. It's not worth, you know, sitting up there constantly thinking like, okay, is my twin, is he or she finally ready? Are they ready to settle down and be with one person? Or are they ready to, do they want to continue to explore? Do they think I'm worthy of their love? Or them questioning shit fuck that are they worthy of mine you know what i'm saying no you get tired of that so you guys need to buckle down pick your your big girl panties on or your drawers up or whatever fuck you want to call it y'all have to understand listen have some time to yourself some quality time to yourself go and have a spa day me and women go have a spa day go have some time to yourself learn to like you know what it's about me what is it that I want? What is it that I desire? Do I want my twin back or do I want to just be free and keep it moving? Do what's best for you. Not what's best for your your uh, your twin, okay? He or she does not matter at this time. It's all about you. 
I don't care if your twin sending you shit telepathically because I know a lot of them are. They have to allow you to heal and figure out what it is that you want. Do you want to stay with this karmic or do you want to be with them or another individual? And that's amazing. Spirit always do this when I be hitting stuff on the head of what y'all thinking. My tuning bowl, <laughs> it, it, it just went off and I didn't even touch it as y'all can see I was sitting right here. So I don't know if y'all heard that, but whatever. So anywho, you guys just do what's best for you. But keep in mind, is it really best for you, whether it's with your twin or with someone else? If you choose to go and be with somebody else, go and be with somebody else. You got to do what's best for you, not what you think is best for you and your twin. No, it doesn't go like that. God is not going to want you to be with somebody if you don't want to be with them. If you don't want to be with them, then don't reconcile with them. Don't string them along. Let them move on and let them find the love of their life or they, they soulmate or whomever they choose to be with. Don't interrupt their life if that's not what you want, okay? They don't deserve that and nor do you. So choose you first. Back to the cards. Come on. Let's keep it moving, loves. Hold on, loves, because I got this thing. <laughs> that may come out. Hold on. Come on, down there. <laughs> Come on, babies. Okay, I know this is going to pop out. Might be wanting to do that this. Okay, whatever. I thought it started over. <laughs> okay, let's keep it moving, Divine Masculines. Come on. Do what's best for you, loves. Don't worry about anybody else, okay? Dang. Okay. What's that? Three of Pentacles. Hmm. Oh, so you guys, so you collab, you're about to collaborate with someone? Or you also, a lot of you divine masters are thinking of who you're going to collaborate with too. Be careful because there's some, that could be something that you're not seeing, okay? Could be in regards to um, paperwork, okay? And who's swiftly trying to move in. Y'all need to end a lot of stuff with people. Or this is what you're doing. End in a lot of situations or. Uh, oh, you ended it with an empress. So some of you are walking away from your empress. Your, uh, your twins. Nothing wrong with that. Do what's best for you. <laughs> Don't think about nobody. It was best for nobody, but what's best for you. That's, that's what's most important. Forget your twins, honey. And I do mean that. Do not be with somebody just because you feel that's what they want. Or just because you feel, oh, we twins. We have to know the fuck y'all don't. Y'all don't have to be with y'all twins, okay? Let's keep that above. You do not have to be with your twins. Be with who you want to be with. Let's be real here. Be with who you want to be with. Don't try and reconcile with somebody because the cycle is going to be broken anyway. Y'all have to understand, if y'all want something to be right, you have to be, be real about what it is you want. And I feel like even if you decide to be with somebody, just understand your twin, God's going to bless them with somebody anyway. So as whether you want to be with them or not, God's going to bless them. And, and keep in mind, they're not going to continue to take your foolery with all this juggling and shit. No. I mean, you're going to be fine either way it go. I do see marriage in the cards for y'all. Look at that. I shuffled it and I seen it when we was um when I was shuffling the deck before it came out too. So there is going to be marriage. You're going to move on and get married to somebody. But you got to get out of a situation if you want to settle down with somebody. Four cups. I mean, four cups. Sorry, honey. I don't know why. I don't know if y'all just listening to people. Y'all ain't got no business listening to. Yeah, everything's going to be fine, love. Divine masculine. Whatever it is you're working on, you're working really hard. Like, literally hard. It's it's a lot, but you're working hard. You got a lot of heartbreaks. There's going to be a little setbacks here and there, but it's only to make you stronger. So, it's not going to break you. It's to make you stronger. But I feel like everything is going to work out in your favor. You just have to make that decision, what it is you want. And you're going to watch everything go 
like literally going to your favor rather that's god is trying to break it down to you god can allow this tower moment to happen and i feel like you're going to be if you're not if you for those of you divine master who's choosing not to be with your twin i feel like you're gonna um walk away from this third party situation whatever it is that you're going through listen to the holy spirit guide you the right direction this walk away from people that's been really deceptive and I'm also picking up something in regards to like st stolen money or finances, houses, stole, um, did something and manipulated some type of a uh, deed or something like that too. Don't worry about all that shit because you got to understand what you did to your, your twin. Yes, you're going to get karma and you could have got karma. But many of you got a lot of karma from this these karmics slash third parties. But what you did to your twin is being done tenfold and beyond from this karmic. But don't sweat it because the Holy Spirit wants you to walk away from this situation. Whatever this karmic did to you, don't worry about it. Don't sweat it. But you got to have faith that God's going to going to actually have you in a victorious uh, energy as well. Release that person. Keep it moving. You don't have to go back to your twin if that's not what you want. If he or she is not who you want to be with or you want to settle down with, that's okay. God is not going to make you be with nobody you don't want to be with. I don't care what nobody say. If your ass, like the uh, opposite sex, then you be with who the fuck you want to be with. I don't give a fuck what nobody say on this platform. I don't give a fuck how a motherfucker was raised because your parents are going to raise you how they was raised, okay? I don't believe everything in that Bible is back God because even um, Stephanie P. Smith, who talks to God too, she clearly, God clearly told her that everything in that Bible, he did not put in that Bible. Over the time, man put things in that Bible to control us, okay? Just like the Matrix, okay? They put things in the Bible to try to control us and say that God put that in. No, he did not. I knew that in my spirit that everything in that Bible was not by God. Because if everybody keep preaching, God is a loving God. God um, continues to forgive us and, and loves us unconditionally, no matter who we are. But yes, that is true. But God is not going to sit there and tell you you have to love the, the, uh, the opposite sex if you're not even attracted to the opposite sex. If you don't even uh, want to lay down with the opposite sex. If you just don't want to lay down with nobody. God is not going to tell you that. Because God what? Is a loving God. That's what everybody continue to keep preaching, right? Right? So why you think God is going to tell you you have to lay down with a man if you're not even attracted to a man? God is not going to make you do those things. Because you're going to be miserable and sad and people these days are committing suicide because they're being forced into something that they're not, that they're not, um, they're not feeling in their heart and in their spirit. God is not going to make you do that. I don't care how you was fucking raised. Your parents, if they was raised in church or they was Baptist, Christian, whatever, they went by the Bible. Everything is in the Bible is not from God. Everything in the Bible, if you really truly have a connection with God, God will tell you himself that everything in that Bible is not from him. I, I, I'm going to speak true, but I don't care what nobody say. If you truly have a connection with God and God speaks to you, he will tell you everything in that Bible is not from him. So for you to preach on the platform that, oh, I, I was raised or I was told that I believe that it's supposed to be only a man and a woman. Who told you that? Your parents, right? If your parents told you that, then that means they're going by the Bible that man put things in there over time to manipulate us because that's what they wanted it to be like. And they wanted to manipulate us as a whole humanity to think that that's what God put. So I'm, they're going to abide by this because they're going to think that it's God that put it in. Uh, no, boo boo kitties. No, he did not put that in there. I don't care what none of y'all say. I know in my spirit that God did not put that in. God is not going to tell us to lay down with somebody or be in a marriage with somebody and be miserable as fuck. Contemplating fucking suicide because you're doing, you you, you in a marriage or a, 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 a spiritual uh, bond with somebody that you don't even love. You're not attracted to. You're having kids by somebody. You probably didn't even want kids. You don't know. God is not going to do that. So I don't care what nobody say. So y'all can be, you know, like, oh, SG, that's wrong. I don't care what y'all think. I'm going to speak what the fuck I want to speak. Just like everybody else speak what the fuck they want to speak on their platforms. I'm going to tell y'all what I speak. If you have a true connection with God, 
and you didn't ask him, did you put everything in this Bible? That means you going back off of what your parents were raised. Everything our parents was raised was not truth. It is not. Because they going by the Bible, that majority of everything in that Bible is from man. Not from God, from man. So it kind of baffles me when people are like, oh, I believe it's only supposed to be for man and woman. Man and woman supposed to be laid out. What the fuck ever? Have your truth for what you were raised to believe. I ain't knocking y'all, but it is what it is. And I'm going to sit on that shit. Everything in the Bible is not from God. I don't care what the fuck y'all talking about. I don't care if you was raised Christian, Baptist. I don't give two fucks. I'm telling y'all, everything in the Bible is not from God. And if you have a connection like you say you do and God speaks to you and have a conversation with him, then ask him that and he will tell you everything in that Bible he did not put in that Bible. Man put a lot of that shit in that Bible and pass it off as God. But yet y'all believe in it but yet y'all take the truth. Yeah, because y'all parents trained y'all that because y'all parents was trained to uh, believe everything in the Bible. But it kind of makes me wonder if a lot of our, like, like, like God said, all his children have gifts. If a lot of our parents was gifted, how is it that they didn't know that what was in the Bible, majority of that was by, by man and not God? That's what baffles me. It does. That's why I, I don't believe everything that these readers have on here. I don't believe what other people, oh, God said this and God said that. When mm -hmm. I get, see, hey, thank you, spirit. Hey, 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 hey. And that's what I'm talking about. Because <laughs> God speaks truth. And I'm going to speak my truth. That's why I don't follow the Bible. It was only one spiritual sister. And then she did rub me the wrong way. Because I feel I do feel like. Um, she do feel like she's the only one. That God connects with. Like I just was baffled. Like are you serious right now? But yet. You literally talk to God. And it's like you belittling other spiritual sisters and brothers. And I talked to God and I told her I would never I told God I would never follow her again. I don't care. I said I believe what she's doing. You know, she's she's listening to you, but I feel like she's a little sport little brat. I do. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a stay true to my word. And I talked to God and I said it's funny how you allow her to belittle your other kids. Your other children who are out here doing your work too. And then she's always talking about people gang stalking her. Now, do I believe people gang stalk her? Yeah, but you gotta understand the shit that you be saying on these plat on your platform too, boo. I be looking at you sideways too. That's why I stopped fucking with you. I don't, I don't, I, I don't not. I unsubscribe from your ass. I don't fuck with you no more. And you know who you are. I just don't like. I believe everything you speak is true from God. But I told God, if you got any messages from me, let it come from another spiritual sister or brother that's authentic and that's going to deliver the message. But I just don't fuck with her. I'm sorry, God. Yeah, you don't want us judging, but she judges us. And I know tick for tack is not cool. But my thing is, I'm not going to support nobody who belittles other spiritual sisters when they, when they haven't done anything to them. Okay? Do I believe a lot of us get game stock and stuff? Yes, it comes with the game, comes with the territory. It happens. What the fuck ever? I don't give two fucks. People gonna do what the fuck they gonna do. They gonna be judged for it. I don't give a fuck no more. I'm just tired of it. Whatever. But my thing is, sis, you are not the only one that God speaks to. You are not the only one that God shows Himself to. That's what I be tripping on. Like, are you kidding me? <clears throat> but God knows my heart. I wish her nothing but happiness, but that 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 cockiness is it's, it's different to being confident. God had to work on your 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 confidence. I never knock another spiritual sister or brother, but when you call, think you fit up, sit up here and belittle other spiritual sisters and brothers who's authentic, that's where you fucked up at. Okay, I don't give, I don't care. God, not God knows I'm gonna speak my truth. I don't give two fucks. You think you better than everybody else, and that's not cool. And I told God that. How do you allow her to speak certain things? But I, And I also know that God be making you do a lot of fasting because of the shit that come out your mouth too. You think other spiritual sisters don't pick up that shit. But I did. And you throwing little jabs at other spiritual sisters too. That's not cool. But you call yourself of light. And we all fall short of glory. Not just, not just other people who come against you. You are not no saint sister. So don't act like you want. Okay. Moving on. 
I'm sorry with divine masculines, but I, I don't know. How the hell I got off of there? Mm. Whatever. I don't get no fuck. <laughs> God knows I'm gonna speak my truth. I don't care. Shit, I'll be I'll be a ruthless bitch if I say the person's names, but I ain't gonna get down like that because I'm quite sure many of you spiritual sisters and brothers know who the fuck I'm talking about, okay? And God, I'm gonna respect God by not saying her name. And she know who the fuck I'm talking about. Like, what the fuck ever. Yeah, divine masculines. I'm so sorry. I went on a little tantrum. Okay. Ooh, damn, y'all got a lot coming out, divine masculine. This was like for the like the last one. So some of y'all could be dealing with a Leo. Some of y'all doing some planting. I see this person preparing for planting and doing a lot of things for their home. If y'all can see that. Maybe getting ideas from the neighbor too. I see you and your, your loved one and your kids planting stuff too. Probably uh, purchasing some bricks or like these little bulldozers dozers to put in your, um, your backyard. I see this guy, he's on it and he's trying to push it down and something's not working. But even though this is the four of pentacles, could be saving to purchase this too. Some of you guys are going to be moving. I see the six of swords here. Excuse me, loves. That's for somebody. Yeah, here go the justice, loves. Something's going to go in your favor. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hmm. Yeah, somebody needs to make a decision about which house they want to get in move to as well. Y'all yeah, don't have a lot of time. Y'all need to hurry the fuck up. Some of y'all, whoa, okay. Be mindful. I feel like somebody's sneaking on y'all property too. I don't know what the fuck they're doing, but they're sneaking on your property. Could be looking in your fucking window. Somebody's trying to make sure y'all car don't work or making you have issues with your car because I see somebody's disappointed about a car because I see the five of cups here and then we got the chariot right here and the four of swords. So somebody's car may not be starting, but I feel like somebody manipulates some type of energy in regards to the car. Maybe somebody gave you this car and then they did something to it, some magic. And, and they did something in regards to chanting to make your car not work. So just let y'all know the body mask ones. <laughs> I'm just saying, people can do some wicked shit, I'm telling you. But whatever. Um, Moving on. Okay, I just want to look at this. Yeah, y'all in a toxic situation. Get out of that situation and keep it moving. Everything's going to work out in your favor, loves. Okay, till next time. Take care.